Okay, it is now 5 a.m. and I literally just rolled out of bed. Um, I find that early in the morning is when I get the clearest calling and things to talk about from the Lord before they get polluted and those thoughts get sucked out of my head by the devil who doesn't want me saying these things and I don't even think it matters. Is it an exercise in futility? Probably, but I, this is what's come to light is that, you know, and in my generation and previous generations, they had these expressions like, um, you know, you know, you know, mm, the system, the sticky to the man, all this stuff. Okay. And we thought we had something to complain about. And it's, it's just ludicrous because that was the closest to freedom we'll probably ever see. And we were resisting and we were complaining and we were everything else and what's happening now is something even worse they're encroaching upon us from all sides from inside our very bodies without our consent like a thief in the night and most of us are buying into it the age of technology is the age of satan and the antichrist will surely be ai it's the only way that the synthetic omnipresence that you need for the eye of providence to, to be in full effect can possibly take over is through technology. It's not going to be a single man. We're distracted by, you know, you know, don't mind that man behind the curtain kind of stuff, expecting it to, to rise in the form of a man. No one man can wield that much power. It's going to be technology and it'll be inescapable and it'll be everywhere. And on that note, I have to say that this is be it's beyond surveillance. It's it's been taken to a whole new level. This technology that we don't, where most of us are nation to, it's inside our bodies, and it's a full fledged attack. It's 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 in sync with everything with with the with the chemtrails, with the parasites, with the microwaves, everything. It's all working together in one sinister, horrible, insidious, subversive plan uh, of subterfuge which I've mentioned that word before, subterfuge. I don't have it written down right now. S-U-B-T-E-R-F-U-G-E. -E. It means deceit in order to attain one's goal. And that's exactly what's going on with these supposed cell towers and all this stuff that you're being told that's smart and, um, you know, going to be convenient. And you don't have to open your own door or dim your own lights or do this or that or the other thing. You're giving your power over to... Something that's fake, synthetic, that, that is, that you're handing your power to a machine. Willingly. Willingly. Let me tell you that every time I wake up, and, and this, I'm reminded of this every time I open my eyes. In the morning, like, I wake up, I see a light swim up and down in my peripheral vision. Every single morning when I wake up, it's remote neural monitoring. They've given me biotech parasites. They've given everyone these parasites. They're encroaching on us from all sides. This is serious. It's beyond getting, you know, a chip and you have a, you know, you can decide whether or not you get the chip. That's the last card I believe that they're going to play. But in the meantime, they're going to give it to you without you realizing it. They're going to give you stuff without you knowing it covertly and against your will and without your consent. And one of these things are these strange parasites that allow them to connect to your remote neural monitoring. Every time I wake up, I see a light logging in and off. That's AI or something. I don't see how it's possible for a person to be able to be that in tune with my brain function. So it's happening remotely by the supercomputers that they have, these deep web, whatever. I don't know. We, we, we're not let to, we're not led to know. We're kept nation so that they can take complete control of us. This is really serious. Like this is in my body. This surveillance is inside my body. Every time they can tell by my brain waves when I'm waking up from sleep state. As soon as I open my eyes, I can see the light swimming up and down in my peripheral. 
Like, they're, they're taking that data. Like, oh, she woke up at 4.55. She has enhanced synapses going on. Anytime I feel a state of excitement, anger, arousal, anything, the light. Like clockwork. When I'm just, you know, in a, in a calm state where I'm not really doing much firing in my brain, it doesn't happen. The second there's some firing in my brain, I see that light. Everywhere I go, people recognize me. And it's not paranoia, it's the truth. And it's not a good thing. Like, oh, there's a, there's a Madonna or Beyonce or whoever the fuck they're putting in your face. To, to, to be an idol to worship who is truly with Satan. It's like they hate me. They're putting out there, I don't know what they're putting out there on this remote neural monitoring. This is just not okay. It's not okay. You know, the fact that I think it's not okay is what's making, you know, it doesn't even matter. Like I said, I just rolled out of bed every morning. When, I, when I'm rolling out of bed or when I'm just about to wake up is when I get messages from the Lord, the clearest. And then, you know, every, I, I used to get up and write it down in my journal, like, but it, it's, it, it's just turned, it feels like it's just such an exercise in fertility everywhere you look. There's no escape when it's in your body. I've taken vitamins. I've taken all kinds of supplements. I, I've tried to get a, a, a health medical attention and to doctor nobody will help me they're letting this happen to us because they're all in on it pretty much there's no escape and like i said back in the 60s up to the 90s 70s 90s with, with the different movements the hippie movement the punk movement you know generation x like all these people you know Anarchy this and fuck the establishment and all of that. They have no idea what was coming. Like, that was, that was the last. We were on the cusp before digital technology science took over. We were, that was the last little semblance of freedom that we had. And we don't understand how bad we should be complaining now. Instead, I can like taste blood. They like fry my brain. They're trying to make me stupid because they know that I have some kind of insight. They don't want me putting it out there. They edit my, they edit my uh, views on my videos. You know, they don't let my videos get out there. I don't know why other truthers theirs does. It doesn't even matter really because they don't want people knowing about Omni. That's what it comes down to. Because I believe they're going to name this fake synthetic AI God that they're creating through all of our stolen data and surveillance. I believe they're going to name it Omni. Omni is the name of God. Omni is Jesus' father. But beyond sex, Omni is, the, is Jesus. I'm sorry. I don't have it together right now. It's just too much. It's not too much. It's going to be too much, you know. I see these 5G towers like literally right next to playgrounds. And I notice that they're on a lot of church property. You've got churches with these huge satellites. And I used to think, oh, that's kind of weird. It's because they're props. They're hollow props. They're not really churches. They're, they're establishments meant to further the, the cause of our enslavement through this technology. This is not good. It's beyond facial recognition technology. I go out and I cover my face sometimes because I just can't stand it. The way people recognize me. And I know it has something to do with my stolen remote neural monitoring. They're like broadcasting me in scenarios that they want me broadcast as. They can take your likeness and they can match your voice to your likeness through AI when they steal it. When you talk to Google, you say, Google, blah, 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 blah. You know, they're recording your voice, so they're sending it to the, to the, to the computer to file it away so that they can reconstruct your voice with your likeness in some kind of weird hologram in, like, virtual reality, where they put you in different scenarios that they want you to be put in. Without your knowledge, you, without your consent. It's some weird form. 
of like trafficking and virtual. I don't understand. Cause I'm not in on it and I would never be in on it. You couldn't pay me enough to be in on it to do this to people. Or be involved. It's some sick addiction and it's demonic. You can't do this to people. This is beyond behavioral modification. This is slavery. This is like new new age slavery. And it's only gonna get worse. Like I see the 5G towers right next to playgrounds on church properties. How do they let this happen? Like, because they believe the hype. They believe that it's like good for us. It's not good for us. Somehow it connects to these weird things that cause these lights, like the, the frequencies, like we're all going to be melted. They're already frying my brain. They're already melting my brain. I can't even imagine when they turn it up on everyone else going to be. They've been watching what I write in my journals for months. I don't even know how long. This is probably this in combination with the things I said on Facebook is why I've been deemed expendable and they've, and they've selected me to, to, to be a victim of this. And they, and they try to justify their actions by, by throwing my criminal history and my, all my problems and my faults up, you know, it, it, you know, to back them up, you know. I'm not that person anymore. That's besides the point. I haven't been in trouble with the law in over 10 years, but I'm sure they're going to like, that's all they do is highlight the negative. I'm not that person. That's when I was controlled by Satan, the one that they serve. Without realizing it through my drug addiction that I'd been through my whole entire life, that the Lord saw me out of, showed me out of, and now they want to harass me. Now they want to, before I was fine, they didn't give me any problems at all. I'd break into your car, I'd, 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 I'd you know, try and finagle money from you any possible way I possibly could. I'd steal from the grocery store, I'd fight the security card. Nobody ever gave me problems then. I never had any, any dirty looks or any, you know, people trying to beat the flow. Now that I truly have, you've shown the way out. We were being rehabilitated through the Lord Jesus Christ and Omni, who is God. Now, they want to shut me down by any means necessary. That's besides the point. See, it, it, they distract your, your focus away from what really matters, and that's Omni and Jesus. So, woe is me, poor pitiful Pearl. But the thing is, is that it's not okay. It's not okay that every time I have it's any kind of emotion, I can see them logging on. I can taste the electricity in my mouth as, as they like broadcast my remote neural monitoring. I can feel weird things in my body vibrating, certain body parts vibrating. And at night I wake up and I can feel like them attacking certain areas that they know are weak in my body. With somehow remotely, like, it, it's all to do with parasites in coalition, these biotech parasites. We're completely nescient. Nescient means absent of knowledge. Nescient to this technology. And they're using it on us. It's like inner space. It's beyond cameras. It's beyond, you know, the cameras and surveillance. It's beyond, it's inside our bodies. Accept the Lord Jesus as your personal Savior, and that's really the truth. It's no cliche. You need him as your intercessor between you and Omni. And if you deny him before man, he will deny you before Omni. And that's the truth. I didn't know it before. Feminists, I pray for you. All you who reject Jesus, just on account of the fact that he's a man, I've run out of things to say right now in time. That's it.